right, and we are back. Okay, so our next boss fight is against Sonic Juice. Very interesting name. And also, seems like one of the more reasonable members of Fu's gang. He's like, I don't know if we should do this anymore, Fu. Maybe we should just cut our losses and leave. I mean, this Travis touchdown guy's kind of killed a lot of our guys. And even then, like, even if he hasn't killed some of them, they've been killed either way. Just kind of seems like we're just getting our asses kicked. Like, maybe we bit off a bit more than we could chew. I don't know. Yep, nothing I'm missing so far. Alright, Sonic Juice, let's do this. What's your shtick? <laughs> Kill. The number three ranked assassin is Sonic Juice. Occupation? Demon Guard. Wow, okay. Wow. There's a pole. Okay, really? Let all your madness out, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. Well, you know what? If he's the Guan Yu, then I'm the Lu Bu. How about that? Yeah. I didn't see Guan Yu in a uh, record of Ragnarok. Or, no, wait, I did. But he wasn't the guy who was fighting. It was Lu Bu. Romance of the Three Kingdoms reference. Interesting, interesting. I mean, people play Dynasty Warriors, they probably know who Guan Yu is. He's that guy with the really big spear and the really long beard. Known as a war god. This guy doesn't have a beard. How's he the Guan Yu of anything? Whoa. Space fish. This is taking way too long. <laughs> How long is this guy gonna walk? Just be patient. Ugh. It's so damn long. He's probably tired. For real. This is fucking long. He might be injured. Isn't this just a huge waste of time? Just chill, okay? We start getting antsy, we lose. What the fuck is the point of it? <laughs> He's just fucking with us now, right? <laughs> He's getting closer. Uh, ah, space shark! <laughs> Gene is so pissed off right now. Dooby 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 doo. <laughs> yeah, Gene passed out. <laughs> Hey guys. Sorry for the wait. I'm fine. But the younger gamers don't like waiting for shit. I mean, you know. Then it probably caused a lot of them to scrap this game. That's not fair. Hey, young gamers. I'm terribly sorry for making you wait. <laughs> you don't have to go that far. And you probably got it cold standing up here. Don't worry about it. I've hated the sea since I was a kid, that's all. <laughs> you look like a warrior. So even Earth has some good soldiers, too. I'm no fucking soldier. I'm a goddamn killer. Yeah. Anyone getting in my way gets killed. I'm a passing assassin. You don't look like a bad soldier. Well, either way, if you're going to take us down, you must be pretty tough. Fuckhead. This ain't the pub. I didn't come here to shoot the shit with co-workers and have a few beers after work and go home. We're gonna fight to the death. Well, then let me ask you this. Why do you want to kill me? Uh, assassination, dude! Up my town? I don't give a shit who you are. You're my enemy, so I gotta kill you. That's all. 
I'll be honest with you. I don't agree with Fury. Now, because this planet is evil, it must be conquered and ruled over. But, for some reason, I'm unable to find the roots of evil in your people. I mean, money? I wonder why. I believe you may be a good species after all. That's just because you've been lucky. You've only seen those of us worth looking at. Even if that were indeed the case, I cannot deny that I am unable to ascertain the point of fighting you. What's he got to say about it? Whom do you mean by he? Ah, you mean this. I got no idea how this works. That's not even close to the subtitles. Not even a little bit. and a robot. Uh, okay. I think I get it. But I also kind of don't. How do you not get this? Let us negotiate peace. Oh my goodness. No need for any of that. You just get the fuck out of this town. You willing to back off? That is going to be rather difficult. He is terrifying. If I were to disobey him, my entire species would be wiped out. This planet, too, was destroyed by Fury. A place as beautiful as this? This world was purged, its civilizations decimated, left with nothing but a legacy of death. I guess that settles it then. We're destined to fight. In that case, let's do it this way. I am no good with action type stuff, so let's do this RPG style. Hmm? Oh, yeah! Fight in the genre of the Viking, right? Speak for yourself, buddy. I'm all action. Or GTFO. Really, Travis? Well, now you're trying to push your own preferences on me. Allow me to demonstrate my power. Encounter! I'm sure Travis has played at least one RPG. Okay. This is how we fight. Hey, what the hell? I can't move. What the hell is going on? <laughs> you're a gamer, aren't you? I shouldn't need to explain this to you. It's true. Katana won't fucking move. Preemptive strike. Legendary water. Shit. We got to attack with command input? <laughs> we take turns attacking. It's an extremely fair way to do battle. I mean. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. So this is RPG style, huh? I mean. <laughs> Maybe take my damn controller. So Jeez. What? So you don't know. What the fuck? You're certainly behind the times. Nope. Even if they it, I'm not going anywhere near it. SMT? Why not? What reason could you have to be so stubborn about it? Because the characters look fucking What the <laughs> The characters look Characters look But but do the characters look <laughs> What are what even is this shit? <laughs> I had been totally blind. <laughs> I never noticed. You know, but, but when I think really hard about it, I think it did sort of feel that way after all. I mean, all the revolutionary technology paired with the sheer branding power that is. <laughs> I couldn't face the reality that the characters look absolutely Is it Final Fantasy? What don't beat yourself up over it. It can be two things. Everyone and their mom seems to worship. And at the same time, the characters do look shit. What even is this? What are they talking about? Not even designs are involved. Is it Final Fantasy Fantasy SMT Dragon Quest? Which one is it? I guess Final Fantasy, because that's I don't know. Psycho killer after all. You know what? Fuck it. I'll follow your lead. Off to the world of RPGs. What even the fuck, man? <laughs> Here we go. Sonic Juice has not yet noticed. Yeah! <laughs> it is Final Fantasy! Straight up! Oh god, here we go. Yeah! How do you like it? <laughs> Three damage, huh? This one looks tough. Uh, Thunder seems like the appropriate power. Yeah! 
<laughs> oh, this is so good. I would unironically play an entire game like this. Critical hit! 777 damage! Yeah! <laughs> Summon if for if for time. <laughs> ah, this is so stupid. It's so stupid. Blizzard, not enough MP. <laughs> so some of these abilities just you just can't do them. Oh my god. Oh. No More Heroes just does not give a fuck. At all. In the slightest. Fire? Can I use fire? Nope. Just thunder. Oh, we have herbs. Alright, yeah, sure. <laughs> Sixty-nine damage, yeah. Funny. Big funny number. One damage, okay. Sonic Juice Special Attack. Legendary Water. Okay. Well, let's see. How about another thunder for you? Hey! Look what we can do. Attack doesn't reach. So, in true No More Heroes fashion, break the fucking fourth wall over your knee. That's how you win the fight. Just say, fuck this RPG bullshit. Y yeah, this one. Fuck it. I don't like it anymore. Get out of my face. I love this stupid franchise so fucking much. <laughs> no More Heroes never fails to just take the piss out of everything. Fuck off, who gives a shit? Just, whatever, let's make fun of JRPGs for a hot second. <laughs> and now let's just talk about game design and talk about like, how bosses work and all that shit. <laughs> Invincible mode, fuck you. <laughs> this game series is so goofy and dumb. I love it so much. Oh. Unironically, I would play the hell out of a No More Heroes RPG. I would... Like, if Yakuza can do it, No More Heroes can do it. Like, Yakuza did a... a like, did a straight-up turn-based RPG with, uh, Like a Dragon. So, fuck it. Who cares? Or maybe... I don't know, it seems like Travis and Ichiban are kind of like... Well, no. Never mind, I have to say, they seem pretty similar. 
And then I just realized, no, the only similarity they have is that they're both gamers and have a sense of honor. Besides that, Travis is fucking crazy. Ichiban at least is like... Well, hang on, Ichiban's also kind of fucking crazy. I don't know, man. Wow. Nice Mustang mode, a little too late. Oh, there's a boss fight done. Most of the boss fight was just talking and doing the RPG shit. Fuck off! <laughs> what? Fuck off! I submit. I give up. I cannot fight pointlessly any longer. Begging for quarter, huh? So even aliens have that sort of thing. There are people waiting for me on my planet. I cannot die here. I thought your planet was destroyed. Fine, you're an interesting guy. Oh. Well, there he goes. You fucking dick prick. Yeah. You're getting soft, assassin. You can't beat me like that. You're too soft. Oh, there goes Sonic Juice. about all that old stuff we're in different positions now whatever let's settle this here yeah looks like we've got the stage all i mean you already killed paradox bandit fuck it why not let's fucking go oh what the shit as this goes against ranking battle rules you will be stripped of the number one position what the hell I'll hold on to this bloodlust till the actual fight. You just wait, Prince Dickhead. Congratulations. You have been recognized. Sylvia, what what's going on with your eyes? Next up is the final battle. Fucking dead space over here. All of a sudden I'm number two? Number two was Paradox Bandit, but Prince Fu killed him. Yeah. Deep down inside. It looks like he's sick of this conquest game. Travis, it means he's recognized you as a friend. Sylvia, seriously. Oh yeah, I could feel it. That was some balls out bloodlust. I've never seen anything like it. Are you sure? I'm waiting for you at Daemon Tower. What's that ship? The Ishimura, I guess. Oh, that kind of technology. I, <laughs> I could have come to this planet without full armor. I guess th it, it's from a different thing. The eyes just made me think of Dead Space 2, that's all. Well, there she goes. What a mysterious game. A rank, yeah. Muscat juice. <laughs> Just jump from three to two. Wow, only nine boss fights? Jeez. Whoa, okay. Oh. It's sounding way more dire now.
Well, all right then. Count your six. Ah! Ah, it's a Kamen Rider reference! Ah! At least I think that's where I heard it from. Time to count up your sins, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, I guess we're just going directly for Foo now. Oh, just directly into this. Yeah, I mean, Fu already said his piece, so fine. That's fine. Ranking question mark? The chair the song. Flesh and blood. You know what makes Miike perfect? He's even good at period pieces. Periods. The big three period pieces. Yeah? The best one has got to be 13 assassins, right? Okay. After that, it's Ninja Kid. Harakiri, <laughs> Death of a Samurai is a masterpiece, too. The casting is amazing. Who's this cool ass Japanese dude? Yeah, Takayuki is great. That sort of instability is awesome. Takayuki isn't acting. He's swimming in a sea of imagery. Kubota's gonna go places too. Kubota? From Katai Investigator 7? That's one good looking dude. Nobuaki from Crow Zero 2 freaked me out. Shin is cool too, but Nobuaki is hella sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough can be said about Mieke delinquent movies. He totally gets the fine line between delinquent and Yakuza. The Yakuza and his delinquent movies are stand-ins for the world of grown-ups. He really burns depth and fear into his imagery. Fuck! Mieke is so awesome! For real. I felt a bad chill. I haven't even started over your dead body yet. I'm gonna go outside real quick. Uh-oh. Some bad's gonna be going down if it gets Travis out of the Mike moment. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not the Crash Star Jacket, but close enough. Close enough. Let's at least get the navy blue shirt to work with this time around. Got a red, white, and blue thing going on. All right, let's see what this chill is coming from. Oh, goodness. Got a mail from someone mysterious. Wait in the motel parking lot. My cross sword craves your blood. Order of the Emerald Knight. I think we know who the fuck that is. Well, all right. I was wondering when he was going to show up. I guess the answer is now. <laughs> hey, Charlotte, how you doing in there? <laughs> hey, Charlotte, how you doing? Hey, old man, I got a bad feeling here. Yeah. What is it? You gonna tell me my fortune or something? If you were getters, then I believe you. But anyone else is just bullshitting. <laughs> that one I get. That one I do get. 
Whatever may come, I'll protect this town. You worry too much. <laughs> that one I do get. I haven't actually watched Get a Robo yet, which I really need to. Because it looks like it's a really fucking rad-ass mecha show. I need to get around to watching it. Before I forget, I'm gonna go talk to Shinobu. Big evil. Big evil vibes all over the place. Master. Are you awake? I heard you speak, Master. You did? I also heard the voices of Master Steamboat and Superfly Snooka. Huh? Master, let's go. Go where? To train. Not just yet. You need to rest some more. I've created a new technique in my nightmares. What kind of technique? It's like an exploiter and like a burning hammer. Basically, it's an extremely dangerous technique. I don't know what an exploiter is. Gotch himself taught me. For reals? The Gotch taught you? Yes. He also taught me that the undercard is what brings in the box office. I got no idea what that means, but it sounds important. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. That's No More Heroes in a nutshell. I got no idea what this means, but it's probably important. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Anything else that I can do to, to like procrastinate from this thing nope all right let's let's go see fuck it let's go deal with Henry all right sir Henry motherfucker we doing this let's go you were acting pretty weird in TSA Oh shit. Oh my Oh my goodness. You came, you cosplaying Your hair looks stupid. Is all about and that's not Quentin Flynn. Certain rules and signs. You can leave your body to the river and simply let yourself Not even trying with an Irish accent. All right, Kylo Ren. I'll say. You retweaked asshole. How many times must I say this? I saw a movie about God, and it just flowed through me like electricity. Yeah, you watched I Thor. The anguish of having such a good for nothing little brother, and came to the conclusion that I have to stop you. Yeah, no thanks. Quit getting in my way with your personal bullshit. Hey, do you remember? Nope. Listen, little brother, it was a snowy day. We three siblings made our escape from our serial killer father. What? We ran through the snow. I was holding Jean, who was still small. And you were crying as you ran. We spent days and days in the woods. We built an igloo out of the snow to escape the cold. We finally found our way to a major road. Those huge cars were again surrounding. Adults. They took us, and they tied us up. After that, I lost all my memories. And had them overwritten with those of a child born to the cool down the family. So fucking what? This is something you gotta bring up right here, right now? Right here, right now, is exactly why I bring this up, little brother. You were always crying. Keep on crying as you live. As you always have. Now, keep on crying. 
dark. You really turned out fucked up, you know that? Oh, I agree. It's all this dark side bullshit. Before worrying about me, first kill that ass wife. Oh. She's not my type. She's yours. In that case, draw. Taste my cursed crucifix blade. This sword cuts like no other. Let's go, you fucking prevert. Wow. Henry turned into be such a fucking edge lord. So yes, unfortunately, due to certain circumstances IRL, Henry Cooldown is no longer voiced by Quentin Flynn. And I guess they just decided to completely change his character. Like 110 fucking percent. To the point where it's not even recognizable as Henry, except for like the outfit a little bit and the swords. Even though now he's dual wielding, so... I don't know. And they threw in that background of him being abducted by MIB. Fuck, man. TSA really fucked with Henry. Like, Henry used to be really cool in the first two No More Heroes games. Like, he was the cool, hence, he was the cool older brother foil. And he was a snarky asshole. And now, after watching Thor, like, a couple times, after watching Thor and, I guess, the rest of the MCU, Henry just turned into a fucking edgelord. Which is a weird fucking thing to turn into an edgelord over. You watch Thor! How does Thor turn you into, a, into this? At all? Were you even paying attention? Like, Thor's a frat bro! <laughs> what are you even doing? Like, how does the MCU turn you into a fucking edgelord like this? It's full of snarky, just... Whatever, you're dead now, Henry. Fuck off. Bye! And he's nowhere near as difficult as he was in No More Heroes 1. Like, at all. Fuck you! Fucking bisected. Even dual wielding, he somehow got weaker. Oh my goodness. Well, Henry's finally dead. Oh! This isn't over yet. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Don't cry, Travis. Don't cry. Don't you fucking cry, Travis! I mean, I guess it makes sense. Fucking Skelter Helter started talking after he was decapitated. They really fucked you up, didn't they, Henry? Well, Henry's dead. A B rank, okay, whatever. Emerald Knight Mask. Yeah, that Emerald Knight Order or whatever the fuck it is really fucked with his head. Congratulations, Travis. <laughs> Thank you for killing my ex-husband. <laughs> that is great. Yeah. Just one left. Prince Fu is waiting. Sylvia, that was your ex-husband. Do you not have any kind whatever? Sylvia, once all this fighting is over, will you listen to me? I need to talk to you. You are right. I will think about it. Wow. What a bizarre video game this is. Wait a second, what? He's not dead? How the fuck does that work?
Henry's got some immortality bullshit going on. Two boss fights in one video. Hey. <laughs> I just gotta imagine the reason why Henry's personality completely changed is because they changed the voice actor. He's voiced by Mark Allen Stewart in this game. Could can Mark Allen Stewart just not do an Irish accent? Could he just not do an Irish accent? And that's why they changed, or because he changed voice voice actors, they just completely rewrote his character. Like, I know the whole controversy with Quentin Flynn happened, like, during TSA or around that time. Like, between that and No More Heroes 3. And then it got resolved. But by then, it was too late. I don't know. I guess it all got changed, like, during that whole process. They just said, fuck it. Can't get the original guy back. Let's just make Henry an evil, psychotic Marvel fanboy. Is this a bug? Oh. <laughs> Seriously? You're just gonna bug out here. This shit is gonna get weak called. <laughs> Hironaka, leader, you were out? Takumi, you there? Kuroda! Huh? Iwasaki? Ah, oh, you're not there either? You gotta keep the saber-related stuff in working shape, man! Who the hell debugged this shit? <laughs> Don't tell me it was... <laughs> Their checks are way too lax. <laughs> I should have gone with. Uh oh. Wait. This is no bug. This seems familiar. Remember No More Heroes 1? You assholes. Are you Henry's buddies? You dirty fucking cosplayer. Oh, fucking Anbu. Oh. You screwed up. You piece of shit. I told you, as your older brother, it's my duty to kill you. It's gonna take more than this to kill my ass. I died once already. So that's where that artwork comes from. Not the first time Travis has been decapitated. That's a weird sentence. <laughs> Travis is like, if I had a nickel for every time I got decapitated, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened twice, right? Hey, it's Deathman! <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> Playing Deathman some more. <laughs> it's just like TSA all over again. Travis gets fucking decapitated, and now we're back to... Uh, what a fucking mysterious game this is. Oh, come on. I am not terribly good at these classic type of video games. Got a D. Yeah. Gonna be spelling out death. Whoa. Ah, shit. Fortunately, it's generous if it continues. Oh boy. All right, maybe don't touch those guys. Those weird like things from Dark Souls that now shoot lasers. T for Travis. Oh, 
Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> he's got a fucking he's got a fucking monster truck fist of the north star looking motherfucker on a monster truck I don't know if that would have made Rao more intimidating if he had a fucking monster truck instead of that giant ass horse I mean they're essentially the same thing Rao's horse is fucking huge Go down, fool! Yeah, I got him! There he is, there's Travis. Who are you? Just a passing assassin. Well, a dead assassin now. Welcome to the world of death, man. Let us raise a glass to death. So this is the land of death, huh? Looks like something from an 80s arcade game. What hardware does this run on? The death drive? Here, take this. What's this? Blood wine. 100-year-old Death Emperor wine. Enjoy. You got any beer? We don't have kids' drinks here. Oh! Okay, fine then. Cheers. Congratulations, Travis. You're an uninvited guest here. Return to the piss-smelling world from whence you came. Right on. Send me back. Third time you got decapitated! Do I hear four? There it is. You get decapitated a lot in this series, don't you, Travis? <laughs> What the? Hey! Anybody there? Hey! I'm still alive down here! Somebody give me a hand, huh? Hello? Anybody there? Gravekeeper! Hey! Hey! Just like Kill Bill! You just heard me talking. Somebody! Seriously, I'm gonna die! Let me out! Help me! You got your fucking head cut off. How's it? Whatever. Yo! Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Seriously. What a pinch, huh? Getting buried alive like that. No way. For reals? You're. My name is Luigi. You're a friend of his, right? Okay, so Bishop the First is still dead. Media too. No, that's not it. Ichi the killer too. Oh shit, I hella wanna see that. Travis focus. Or is it Yakuza Apocalypse 2? Or, or something totally new? No. In Japan, it's called Nanakaiki. In Buddhism, the number seven is very important. So we visit our friend's grave after a full six years have passed. And so, as I was walking by. I know you just totally saved my life. Bishop saved your ass twice now, Travis. What is it? I'd be happy to do whatever I can. Could you film a live action version of No More Heroes? 
<laughs> if it doesn't cast Johnny Knoxville, that's going to be a fucking crime and a half. Come on, Mike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, we're doing the Rocky thing. Ah, we're doing the fucking Rocky jog, yeah! Welcome back, Grandpa. You're here too. You'll be going up against him next, Trav. Yeah. And she's here too. Don't worry about me. My dad put that asshole on by choice. Don't misunderstand. I got no beef with you. Charlotte, the bloodlust is back in your eyes. Don't call me that. Bad girl's not even trying to do the jog. <laughs> <laughs> da da da! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, we gonna hear more from Foo? Maybe. Yeah, here we go. Bleak. It wasn't that long ago, but it somehow feels nostalgic. It feels like it was years ago. Give it up for Travis. Humans aren't all bullshit after all. He's no representative of humanity. He's just a street punk. Why do you hate him so much? I hate. Punks. Uh huh. They're violent, evil psychos. Kind of like you, Fu. Ironic that one of Max Middleman's more popular roles is fucking Ryuji. As, well. as fighters, we understand each other somewhat. But you, you don't fight. That's right. I have nothing to do with this. I was simply dragged into it all. You wouldn't be able to leave that. Think about it. Why would Travis come here? Was it a coincidence? He's... Because he's an assassin. No. You brought Travis here. You wanted me to do it. To kill Travis. I never asked you to do that. We're connected here. So I wanted to fulfill your wish for you. What? For me? The final battle. Watch it up close. Watch as Travis dies. Ooh. Well, all right. Now it's time for ranking one. After, I guess Travis, I guess Travis is just barred from the afterlife. Travis just can't die. But then again, neither can Henry. So it's like, fuck it. Are there any stakes? Ranking one. Let's fucking go. Amigos. Friends. Mike. 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 Hey, Shinobu. Watch some movies. Today we're doing a Miike and Hideaki viewing party. So, how are your arms doing? How'd they grow back? But surely I'm getting used to the sensation. I can't hold my sword just yet, though. No need to rush. I want to hurry up and help you out. What do you like, Shinobu? What do I like? I like my master. So you're a real straight shooter, I see. That's not what he means. What kind of movies do you like? Cheese style stuff. Cheese style? Gundam type? Terraformers! <laughs> Are you a Terraformers fan? Which is it? Did you start off with the original? Or did you see the movie first and then the original? Terra? 
I don't know what that means. By G style, I meant something like Barbados swordplay. Ah, that G style, huh? Are you trying to get some practice in? Yes. The broadsword action is especially helpful. You're a real studious one, huh? My way is the way of the sword. Wow, what a line. For times like this, the Ike and swords mean blade of the immortal. Huh? Immortal? I love the original. I'd like to watch that one. Please show me the film. <laughs> I mean, that's... That's appropriate, because I guess Travis is fucking immortal. Yo! Legendary card of Deathman! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! You can play Deathman on the second floor! Hooray! Alright! Okay. So, we still got quite a little bit of video left. The majority of this video is going to be doing the designated fights, so we can get to fight Foo for the next update, as well as getting more collectibles. As in getting the rest of Gene's kids and handling two more types of collectibles. There is another collectible uh, for No More Heroes 3 that I don't cover in this update. I think I might turn that into an extras video, though. Like a pretty short one. Obviously, I've already I've already finished the uh, I've already finished the playthrough of this, but I'm gonna I'll I'll try to get the uh, to get that last little bit in there. I'll see if I can manage it. But it does involve, uh, well, I guess the Spell Tiger Mark III or whatever we're calling this bike. But we're going to be getting quite a few more scorpions, find the rest of Gene's kids, and then responding to a very mysterious email that we got earlier on. But first, Bishop wants to see this shit. So yeah, they do confirm like, hey, Bishop the First or Bishop from No More Heroes 1 and 2 is still dead. It's a callback to No More Heroes 2, where Mike like, visits Bishop's grave. So yeah, Bishop's brother Bishop fucking saved your ass from beyond the grave. Ain't that cool, Travis. Okay, so now we have our 80 chip equipped. What the 80 chip will do is it will make a little beeping sound whenever you get close to a collectible. Well, to most collectibles. There are some collectibles that it will not ping for, which we will see. All right, let's go. We got some designated matches to handle and some collectibles to go find. Oh man, if there is a live action Mike film of No More Heroes, holy shit, that would be great. That would be fantastic. I do legitimately hope if it is a thing, they just make this full circle and they cast Johnny Knoxville in it as Travis Touchdown. I mean, he's doing, he did the latest Jackass movie. Knoxville is still doing stuff. 
Fucking just just bring Johnny in on this. Come on. Travis's appearance was based on him after all. So fuck it. D fucking make it come full circle. <laughs> Give Knoxville the fucking aviators and the red jacket and a, and the fucking beam katana. Let's go. I would love to see the live action film adaptation of No More Heroes. But the question is, would they cover like No More Heroes 1, 2, 3, or do a completely different story? I feel like, given how like much referential treatment that No More Heroes 3 gives to 1, they'd probably just cover 1. Like 1 is clearly the one that everybody remembers the most. At least that's how I view it. Like, I think two plays a bit better, but one is definitely the the standout one. I don't know. I, I haven't seen all of Mikkei's flicks, but apparently, yeah, they're, they're pretty darn good. They're pretty darn good. At least from what Travis and Bishop are, are selling. At least from how Travis and Bishop are saying it. I'm just saying. An anime or a live-action flick, either one would be good. I'd be into it. I would be into it. I feel like Johnny Knoxville would be into this, too. You know, given how much bullshit, like, Travis goes through. Like, the sheer amount of, like, bodily harm this fucker goes through. Electrocution, getting flung back, like, 30 feet into a, into a baseball-like stadium. Crashing his bike. Getting shot at. Lasers, grenades. Obviously, you don't... Obviously, there's some stuff that, you know, you don't want to put Knoxville through, but it's like, yeah, you know. I still can't get over the fact that, like, yeah, Henry's just a crazy person now. He's just an evil asshole because he watched the movie Thor. Again, that seems like such a fucking leap. Seems like such a fucking leap to go from like, hey, he's an Irish guy who's just, he's a little better than Travis, he's the Virgil, he's hes pretty cool, he's a snarky asshole, and he's also not super stoked with the fact that, tra that his wife is like, cheated on him with Travis. To now he's just, I don't know, I, they just kind of made Henry lame. He's just kind of lame now. And that's nothing against Mark Allen Stewart. It's nothing against his new voice actor. It's just, I don't know. I guess the direction for the character is like, yeah, just make him an evil Knight Templar who saw Thor. And it just made him go crazy. Which is a weird movie to get all obsessed about. Which Thor did he watch? Did he watch all three of them? Because, like, the first one is okay. The second one is not great. Thor Ragnarok, however, is a fucking rad-ass flick. That movie's awesome. But even then, if you watch Ragnarok, it's not a movie that makes you go like, yes, I must judge the world and I find my brother unclean. It's, if anything, the fucking Thor movies are all about trying to redeem your brother. Like, yeah, you fight with them all the time, but at the end of the day, you're brothers. Maybe you can't trust your little brother or your older brother, even though they're not brothers in the actual mythology. But it's like, I don't know. Thor didn't hate Loki. He was all like, yes, yeah, so I want to redeem my brother. Or I, I need to be able to, I need to punish my brother for his misdeeds. But he didn't want to kill him. It's weird. Speaking of, speaking of Loki and Thor, why did they make that deviation in the Marvel comics? That's a question I have to ask. Because in the mythology, Thor and Loki aren't brothers. It's more that, like, Loki is Thor's uncle. Because he's brothers with Odin. And Loki's also not an evil asshole. He's not a conniving bass. Well, he's conniving, but he does equal amounts of good as he does evil. I think the whole reason why everybody just, like, rags on Loki is because, oh, it's because of him that Baldur's dead. It's because of him that Ragnarok's gonna get kicked off. Well, no. It's not all Loki's fault. It's more because... 
It's more that Ragnarok is like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Fenrir was just fine, you know, hanging out. He's just a big ass wolf, but it's all like, oh, he's gonna do bad shit. He's gonna eat. Uh, he's gonna eat Odin. L let's tie up his mouth and piss him off. That's a good idea. Jormungandr is just a big fucking snake that'll poison Thor. Yeah, I, I, I and then hell, you, you, you threw her into the underworld or the netherworld or wherever you want to fucking call it in Norse mythology, and you basically just gave her dominion over the dead. You stupid fucking idiots. And if I'm looking at the map correctly, it doesn't really seem like there's any other side stories from what I can see. Maybe I'm just completely blind or I'm... I don't know. I did not see at any point that side quest to go find that renegade... That, uh, that robot gone rogue. I never saw that. I don't see it here and I don't see it in the next update. I don't know what the fuck happened. Am I just completely blind or what? I don't know what happened. I mean, I can double check. I can double check for the extra footage, but I had to do one like extra bit for the extra video. I'll try to look for the other side quest if it's around. I didn't find it, but I'll, I'll try again. As of this recording, I, 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 I just don't know what happened to it. Yeah, sure, defense mission, why not? Start the game. Oh, hey, look. They got more use out of those destroy men. Not that they do much. mass-produced destroyment are just they kind of suck a little bit or maybe I'm just overpowered right now You got nothing on me. <laughs> well, <laughs> I love that version the best. Just a drop kick and immediately like cut to kill. Double S rank. Nice. Off to perfect world.
Gotta find some more kittens and collectibles. Getting all the collectibles before we fight Foo. Except for the one thing. Which we'll do later. Right around here. I found you, you fucker. Oh, goodness. You're not gonna get the best of me this time, fucker. Gotcha! Ha-ha! You're going into ramen! Deathman card! Coxian. Gee, I hear kittens. There it is! Come on. There we go. Travis's motel room's gonna be filled with cats. Absolutely filled. So many cats, you wouldn't even believe it. Somehow I forgot to plant a tree here. <laughs> it's it's important to enjoy the simple things in life, like climbing a tree. There's a collectible in that direction, and it will be mine. Nope. Oh, I already collected this cat. That was in an earlier video. Off to Thunderdome! I only have a designated match for like each map. Got another one. Come on. Nailed it. All right. Missed another tree. All right. Designated match time right after this other tree, which I apparently missed as well. Whatever.
Yeah, more of these guys. At the very least, the common mooks look a little tougher. They got like Oni mast and horns. There we go. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, Travis. Uh Just just cannot like literally just the one take. One just the one take of, of Robin Atkins down saying fuckhead. That's it. That's that's all you need. That's all you need. Just the one take. Just the one take. We got it, Robin. We're good. Oh, ridiculous. Oh. Number five, Black Flower. Yeah, your assassin just got fucking wrecked. Uh, what's up now, Damon? What the hell is your deal? Pay no mind. Jeez. This is a sort of ritual. To get fucking destroyed in traffic? It's also a contract. I have something to give you. Here. Oh. What's this? I had it made for you. Somehow it didn't get destroyed. <laughs> it's a mechanism of death. One befitting of you. When the time comes, simply turn the switch. There is no risk involved. No effort required. Most importantly, there is no hassle. You could say that all it requires is anger and hatred. Awesome. This is awesome. His death is in my hands. Yeesh. Yes. You hold death in your very hand. And don't forget. This is a contract. Yeesh. That seems a little overpowered. But then again, Travis is like immune to death, so who fucking cares? Does it even matter? Travis is essentially immortal. Gee, I hear Another kitten. You're mine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Booyakasha. Hey, Pixel Jean, got all the kittens. Yeah! All right, on to the next collectible. Scorpion, you're going in ramen. <laughs> Death man card. Crush combat! Boy, they just, they just got an all-star lineup of characters from Death Man. I would totally buy an action figure set of, like, Death Man and No More Heroes. Or, like, a TCG. Fuck it. 
What do we got now? Bazooka Beast? Fuck Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh and all that bullshit. Give me the Deathman TCG. Duel Link's got nothing on this shit. <laughs> Fucking Dragon Ball Z Kakarot gets a card game. Final Fantasy has, like, uh, Triple Triad and uh, whatever that other one is. Fuck it. Why can't No More Heroes get a, tr like, get a trading card game? Like an in-universe trading card game. It's not fair. <laughs> no More Heroes should be the video game video game. Where it has a fighting game, and an RPG, and a racing game. Well, I mean, it does kind of have some of that stuff, but still. I want the No More Heroes cinematic universe. Or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Oh wait, I already said that's the Sudaverse. Who yeah, fine. It it already it's fine. Everything's fine. You know it'd be an awesome fucking crossover? Suda 51 and, and fucking Platinum Games. Boy, that would just be a hoot and a holler. Regardless, like, both of them, like, would end up in space. And it'd be the most ridiculous and awesome bullshit that you've ever seen in a video game. Fuck it, throw in Sweary in there, too. Just get the craziest motherfuckers you can get. Put them all in the same room and say, all right, we're making a video game. What? What's it about? Who fucking cares? It's going to be great. It's going to be trippy as fuck. That's what it's going to be. Our video game is going to confuse the fuck out of people. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a treat for all the senses. Sight, hearing. Somehow we'll get taste and smell in there too. I'm sure they'd make some kind of smell vision Screw it, they'd even throw in touch. Like somewhere during the game, it like just... It sprays water at you or something. I don't know. It shoots goo at you. <laughs> Fucking Nickelodeon Gak just falls from the ceiling while you're playing the game. Oh boy. Aha! You love it. Get out of my way, you fucking barrier asshole. Get in there! Or get out of there, whatever.
Yeah! More of those. Less fuckheads and more of those. This is a really handy skill, by the way. Highly recommended. Just a high speed poke. Drop kick you. You get no mercy. None. None here. No mercy at all for you. Goodbye. A rank. All right, what t-shirts do you have available? What do you got? Fifteen thousand Wesson. Do I have that? Yes, I do. Yeah. I got a new t-shirt. What collectible am I missing right now? Probably the trees. This thing does not really shut up. Oh, scorpion. Just got to sweep the entire area. Make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Deadly scorpone. Oh, and someone mysterious over there. Scorpion, scorpion, scorpion. Gotcha! Yeah! And there's someone over there that I need to talk to. Hang on a second! I know that pose! That's a JoJo pose, but more importantly, that's Mr. Doppelganger! Hey there. Oh, it's you, Mr. Assassin. So you found me. Surprised, are you? To see I'm alive, that is. But now we are straddling the line between life and death. The world is on its way to destruction. Anyway, I've come here in search of something. I can't tell you what it is. This isn't a riddle. It's just hard to explain in a way you would understand. It's too difficult right now. Travis, find the real me. So, Mr. Doppelganger, like Dr. Juvenile told us in TSA, the real one is still alive. Like, the one we beat in the video game, he's just dead. Like, we got rid of that one, but the real one is still kicking around, being a weird serial killer. And he's decided to play a very interesting game of hide-and-seek in No More Heroes 3. And yes, the 80 chip does not work on him. So I had to do some online research to find where he was hiding. Just a bit. Again, I, I like these little nods that they make to uh, previous No More Heroes games. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Alright. Whatever you're doing with Master Uh, I don't know, but what t shirt do you have now? Have I done 16 defense missions? No, I have not. Well, shit. And we're off. Yeah, I'm not gonna get all the t shirts. I'm not doing all the defense missions, at least not on this recording. Otherwise, this would be a much longer video. Here's a new side quest. Isn't it just terrible? All these alien shells are posing as art. I'd like to trust out your true fortitude. Can you please find all these fake pieces of art and destroy them? As a show of respect for your whimsically good heart, I should reward you handsomely. Shell removal. Just break shit. So we gotta find some alien shells and just break the fuck out of them. But first, hey, I see you, asshole. Doing more JoJo poses. That's a part three pose, if I ever saw one. You're doing Jotaro's pose. I think. I think that's Jotaro's. Hey there. Wondering about me, are you? Yeah, it's this pose, isn't it? You want to know what this means? This is pantomime. I imitate all. This is an empty town. A town covered in technology. A comfortable but hollow town. However... Jealousy, frustration, and hatred alone swirl together like a deep underground mantle. This is how I present this twisted world. Travis, find the real me. Yeah, you imitate all. By imitate all, you mean you imitate JoJo. That's what you do. I draw you in, huh? Alright. Let's go find more fucking doppelgangers. Tree! Deathman card! Junkie head! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Get out of my way. No water required. Fucking weird ass WESN uh, palm trees shit. Let's see. Back to Thunderdome. Shortcut. Doppelgangers bring me all over the damn place.
Hey, look, it's a Moai head. What t-shirts do you have now? Propagate fashion. Devolver Digital, yeah! Do I make the requirements? Yes, I do! Yeah! Did you know Devolver's super fucking cool? If you didn't, play Hotline Miami. Moai head! This must be one of those alien shells. Uh, Fuck you! <laughs> Damn, Travis is strong! And there's 20 of them. Travis really get pissed off at Gradius or something, I don't know. More fashion, more fashion, yo! Can I get that one? Yes, yes I can! More fashion, propagate fashion. Coincidentally, hey, look who's right here. Hey, look, he's doing another JoJo pose. I think that's either Joseph or Jonathan's. Hey there, so I see I've drawn you in again. No, we have drawn you in again. We are the doppelganger doppelgangers. You too have a doppelganger. Everyone has their own inner doppelganger, their own contradictory personalities. However, there are very few who are able to completely separate, manifest, and externalize them. Our master, with the power to bring out multiple doppelgangers like us, is even more rare. Travis, find the real me. You cried like a bitch when Travis killed you. In that video game world. And also, you were a shitty dad to Dr. Juvenile. And I guess Naomi. Maybe that's why Naomi turned herself into a tree. Because her dad was a fucking psycho. I mean, that's as good enough reason to turn yourself into a tree as any, I guess. My dad's a fucking, like, magical serial killer. Fuck it. May as well turn myself into a tree. There's a Moai head. Get out of my town! Jeez, Travis is really fucking strong. He's so strong and powerful. Travis is just so powerful. So strong. I guess he'd have to be, right? To be able to pull off all those sick-ass wrestling moves and to be able to survive half the shit he survived. Do I have enough for this one? Let's find out. Yes, I do! T-shirts, T-shirts! Getting a bunch of T-shirts. Wish there was another jacket, but whatever. Uh, Fuck you! 17 more to go. I see you, motherfucker. Hey there. So you stand there and speak to me once again. You and I are similar yet vastly different, but going on like this over and over, it's almost like we share an old friendship. No, we do not. That's right. We're becoming even closer. At the very least, we're beginning to conspire. But this is precisely why caution is necessary. Conversation for the sake of pretense hides ulterior motives. Do not let yourself be fooled. Find the real me. Although I guess since Travis was apparently friends with Birkin, fuck it, maybe he's friends with this guy too. Probably not though, considering, you know, serial killer, sick motherfucker. I feel like Travis has some standards. Birkin wasn't really a, well, 
Birkin had some dignity. He had some standards, I guess. At the very least, the reason why he was gunning for Travis was because you killed my daughter, asshole. Even though his daughter was fucking crazy and still is, and is also an assassin. It kind of comes with the territory. But no, that's one of Travis's closest friends. Fucking bad man. I mean, I guess once you go through an entire video game's worth of like, well, multiple video game's worth of, you know, bullshit, I guess it does kind of forge your friendship in fire, doesn't it? Maybe it's just a mutual respect. I don't know. But if you're friends with Travis Touchdown, watch your fucking back. Bad shit just kind of happens. Bishop's younger brother, Bishop, hasn't dealt with anything yet, but... Oh, boy. Bishop the First, yeah, he, he was... Oof. He had a rough go of it. He had a pretty rough go of it. Got shot in the head a lot. They shot him in the head while he was watching porn. Oh. Shit sucks, man. Shit sucks. Again, Travis gets to come back from the dead multiple times, but Bishop gets nothing. Not a damn thing. Well, I guess in this case it works because if Bishop was came back or whatever, if they just retconned that part out, then what what the fuck would Mike have been doing in the graveyard? Because he was friends with Bishop or he was pen pals or whatever. You'd think, you'd think, now that I bring this up, now that I bring this shit up, you would think Travis would definitely be using Rose Nasty now, right? Because it was like, the Rose Nasty came from Bishop, but he gave them to Mike to, like, pass on to Shinobu, who would pass them on to Travis. You'd think for as huge of a Mar Mike mark as Travis is, he would want to use those things almost fucking exclusively. <laughs> and also for the fact that they were the last gift from his best friend. But fuck, I don't know. What do I know about storytelling? Not a whole lot. There goes one of them. Yeah! You love it! Ah -ha. There we go. Not the right designated match, but you know what? Let's just, just fucking go for it. You just keep walking to that tree, citizen. You're one of the reasons why I'm fighting for Santa to destroy, so that food doesn't destroy it. 
Wait a minute. Never mind. Whatever. Again, I'm just saying, Glastonbury would have just would have just taken the whole problem. Would have just dealt with the problem right then and there. Giant fucking robot. Foo shows up. Squish. Done. London missile. I see you, doppelganger. I'll be right over there. But first, trading card. Metal King Fighter. So that's what its name was. Eh, sure, why not? Another defense mission. Right through the dick. Ah, triple sevens, but it wasn't the right color. Triple sevens. Oh well. Aha! Weren't expecting that shit, were ya? Freaking Mustang mode perfect dodge is great. I love it. I feel like I probably should have done this one a little sooner, because these enemies feel a little weaker. Fortunately, none of the enemies in this game are as tanky as they were in TSA. Either that or I'm just really overpowered right now. Either way, fine. I'm, I'm okay with both options. Oh my goodness. That wasn't very nice. Alright, Doppelganger, what do you gotta say this time? Oh, hey, Moai head. You're next, Doppelganger! <laughs> 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 
Hey there. What's wrong, Mr. Assassin? Why the long face? Having trouble sleeping? Maybe just as you're about to fall asleep, you start recalling bad memories from your childhood. Or maybe the dying screams of all those you've worked on ring out in your ears. That's the sort of pain that I like. The terrible memories that eat away at the mind. The despair of knowing despair. The despair one tastes when imagining a level of despair even more powerful. You know this feeling well. Travis, find the real me. Alrighty then. I float above all. Alright. Back to Santa Destroy! I'm surprised Travis didn't just straight up try slashing a doppelganger. Right? Like, out of all the bosses that Travis fought in TSA, doppelganger was one of the worst. Like, morally wise. Like, he was one of the enemies that Travis had no respect for. Like, at all. Maybe because Doppelganger in the game was based off of a serial killer in No More Heroes 3. Or in No More Heroes Universe, whatever you want to call it. Maybe that's the reason. Unique weapon, that's for sure. Still, but still, batshit insane. Like, I'm trying to think of the other bosses in that game. No, I think Doppelganger was easily the worst. The rest of them? I don't know. Travis had a, you know, grudging respect for some of them. Or, you know, just mild indifference. Or to the straight-up point where he was like, Yo, this guy's really fucking cool. Electro Triple Six? Yeah, that guy's fucking rad. Johnson? Fuck yeah, that guy's awesome. Pretty sure Doppelganger was the only one Travis straight-up didn't like. Oh my goodness. It's a fucking minefield. Maybe this maybe these like axe enemies are supposed to be like what Paradox Bandit was supposed to be. Kind of? I don't know. I guess we'll never know cuz cuz there's a boss fight that just never fucking happened. Oh, and I didn't mention it before, but there you go, another bait and switch. No More Heroes just loves its fucking bait and switches. I mean, technically Paradox Bandit died by Fu's hand, so Henry didn't kill him. But still, they replaced the Paradox Bandit fight with Henry. So it, I think it still counts. Loves its fucking bait and switches, this series. Loves them. Loves them to death. There you go. B rank, all right. Got a baseball bat. And that's the last designated match. Now we just need to find the rest of those alien shells and the rest of the doppelganger hiding spots. Yeah. Because we pretty much have enough money to go fight Fu now. And we will fight him on the next update.
Apparently, Doppelganger is over here now. This looks like a different area than it was in No More Heroes 1. And hey, there's a unique pose. I don't remember which JoJo does that one. Hey there, have you given any thought to this world? It's a poorly formulated idea. It's useless as shit. Is this not how you feel? That's exactly right, of course. The strange sensation you feel the moment the wind in this town grazes your skin. The faint, sickly stench. Do you want to know what that is? From what it exudes? The source from which this evil flows? Travis, find the real me. Okay, then. Try to count my facades. Alrighty, then. On to call a battle! There you are. Hey there. How many have there been? How many of me have you met so far? I'm everywhere. I can appear anywhere. Doppelgangers randomly rent asunder. That's me, and 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 me. It is us. Listen to the echoing ring of the bells, the neigh of the horses, and the angry shouts of men, the sobbing cries of women mixing with the sound of the bells. These are the old, time-worn memories of this land. Travis, find the real me. You are a weird asshole. The time is nigh. All right. Well, glorious land means perfect world, so back there, I guess. So easy. All right, he should be around here. Kind of think that this area does kind of look a bit like his stage in TSA. Just a bit. Ugh, that horrible giant blue face. I hate it so much, so very much. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's a Jonathan pose right there. I'll talk to you in a second. I'm planting trees. Hey there. Have you spent enough time here yet? Is your heart overflowing with sadness? Then allow me to show you my other face. Blood, my own face, covered in fresh blood. The taste of iron, crimson filling my vision. The stench of rot spilling from my guts. Blood, blood, blood. Travis, find the real me. Okay, you fucking weirdo. This beeping is gonna drive me crazy. Oh, there was the source of the beeping. The scorpion was just underground. You jackass. Come here. You are super going into ramen. Ah, oh, that was beyond annoying. Try to find the true me. He's back in Santa Destroy. There he is. He's right behind Beefhead. But first, let's go ahead and give all these cards to uh, Bishop right now. Get some extra cash, because why not? There you go, Bishop. Deathman is just too damn cool. Yeah, he is. I met Deathman. He sent me back from the afterlife. Anyway, bye. There you are, doing the Jotaro pose again, I see. Hey there, Travis Touchdown. So you finally found me. Yes. My name is Doppelganger Patrick Granada Jr. Imitator of all, son of the great clown and fundamental serial killer. What I seek is the heart of your enemy, the heart of the most pure and ugly one, the heart of the arrogant coward, the heart of the killer, the creator. I want to feel that pulse with this very fist. I want to lap up every last drop of blood. That is all. That is my only desire. Travis, pulverize him into oblivion. That doesn't make us friends. And hey, we got the Memorial TSA shirt and some Utopi coins. We already had the TSA shirt, so really it's just a nice little bit of fan service. So Doppelganger's on our side now? Yay? I don't know. Eh... I don't think I want to be friends with Doppelganger. Moai head! Get the fuck out! Fifteen more to go.
There you go. Pow, right in the kisser. For the sake of brevity, I'm going to try to edit here and there. Try to speed this process up ever so slightly. And for any collectibles I missed, I'll try to cover them, or at least not the defense missions. Those, I don't know if there's anything that you get after that. But uh, I'll, 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 do, I'll try to find that other uh, side mission with the rogue AI. I'll do some more research on that. And I will work on the Spell Tiger, because I've heard that there's something cool at the end. And I think that's all that I need to double check on. Again, I've already recorded the footage for this and the finale, so that'll just make it into the extra video. Which, I mean, I've done an extra video for each of these series, so hey, you know, it works. It's fine. Seven! Get out of my way! I'm looking for collectibles. You can't stop me. No! Scorpion. You won't escape me, Scorpone. Da -da -da -da. It's so black and cool. You're going into ramen. I see you. Boom! Get out of my town, you Easter Island head looking motherfucker. Oh, boy. Time to punch the shit out of you. Yeah! You love it! Off to perfect world again. Someone at Grasshopper must just really have fucking hated Moai heads. Fuck you. Either that or they must have really taken umbrage with that one particular enemy in Gradius.
Let's see, I already punched that one. Next one should be in that direction. Unless I already punched that one. I'm just going down a list at this point. There you are. Get out of my town. Nine more to go. Okay. There's another one. But a boom. You love it! To the Thunderdome! I've already smashed one over here, so let's see if we can find some more. Boom! I will never stop punching these things. I mean, I guess, like, at the end of the day, if Travis can just punch rocks into fucking dust, that explains why his punches in No More Heroes 1 and 2 were just, like, so devastating. Knock a motherfucker out instantly. Destructible environments would be nice. Let's see. Can I get a new t-shirt? Let's find out. 75? Did I do it? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I did. Sweet. Another Devolver shirt. Okay, really? That little thing? Yeesh. Spell Tiger can't take a fucking hit for nothing. What kind of super future bike is this? Be gone! Yeah. 
Six more. There's got to be at least one in the city. And so there is. Uh, Booyakasha! Five more. Almost done. Almost got all 20. Four more. All right, and the rest should be in call of battle. So easy. Oh boy, we're getting close. And next update, we are taking on Foo. We've been hyping up this fight for a while. And I feel like the game is really trying to get, you know, trying to get to the final boss as fast as possible because Fu straight up just killed two of his dudes. We're going to go avenge Badman, our best friend, that that our best friend. And Fu killed him in cold blood. What an asshole. How dare he? It really is a shame that that whole being able to play as multiple characters didn't really pan out. That would have been awesome. It's also a shame that what happened to Henry's character. I would have loved to be able to play as Henry again. Turns out he, he just turned into such a fucking tool. Ugh. You know, being able to play as Travis, Shinobu, Bad Girl, Notorious, Bad Man, possibly, Kamui, Midori Midori Kawa, Native Dancer... All the all those characters would have been great to play as. But you know, it I don't know what the reason was. I guess it either due to time or budget constraints or something. I'm pretty sure the game is finished. I don't think they're gonna add any more DLC. But if they do, it's not a matter of will or it's a matter of if. If they do, I think that's what Suda said. Either that or being able to just play in that one area that was kind of like locked off. I don't know. It'd be nice. But overall, No More Heroes 3 is a pretty satisfying game. I enjoy it. Boom! One more to go. And there it is. Out of my face. 
All right. And I believe that is good. Why don't we go ahead and bounce back to Santa Destroy? Go let that person know we blew up all the Moai heads. We got some scorpions to turn in. Here you go. Cross Big CS. That is a rad ass t shirt, by the way. And we'll change into that as soon as we get back. But first, let's just go ahead and turn in a bunch of the collectibles that we found. Let's see. Yeah, just a little extra cash. That's cool. <laughs> okay, I punched all the Moai heads. What do I get? Good work. Here's your reward. Game Freak! Lucky Cosmic Stone. Fake. Okay. You managed to destroy them all. How impressive. You have my utmost respect. True Lucky Cosmic Stone. An Anmon-chan. I guess it's a t-shirt. Probably. Whatever. Alright, let's head back to the motel. Let's go pay off our fee and get, I guess, get ready for the next update. I'm coming for you, foo. I'm coming for you. Hopefully, it'll go better than my driving. All right. We got plenty. Here you go. Yeah! That's the one. But no cutscene. We just get to go fight Foo now. Eh, 
Yeah, you know what? Yeah. We're gonna go fight Fu ne in the next update. Get ready for the finale, folks. But before that, I think we should change up our t-shirt just a pinch. Just a little bit. To that new t-shirt, the Big Cross CS. Cause that's a cool ass looking t-shirt, I'll tell you what. Head on down. Boy, there's a lot of cats now. They're all over the place. <laughs> yeah, we got some new t-shirts. But the one that I want is, let's see. There it is, that's the one. Yeah, fucking Racer X. Nice. All right, that'll do it for this update. In the next update, time for the finale. Time to fight Fu. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next update. Until then, see ya.